got stunts, it's got excitement, and it's got thrills, and it's got all of that. It's Groundhog Day meets Breaking Bad. I feel like there's a depth to it that, that complements the scale of it hugely. It's centred around our protagonist, George, who is just a normal guy, trying to navigate his way through his life and his relationship and his own personal revelations. And one day he wakes up and he swears he feels like he's lived this, this sequence of events before. I would say George is a kind of like normal guy, everyday guy who finds himself in extraordinary situations. He gets picked up by Archie, who's one of the Lazarus operatives, who kind of explains the whole situation to him and invites him to become a member of the, the team. What's going on? Yeah, OK, so here's the thing, and don't take this the wrong way. But you're a mutant. Recent. The show follows George, who is the newest member, and his travails uh, and adventures upon joining the team. Welcome to The Lazarus Project, George. The Lazarus Project is a top-secret multinational group, and the point of it is to prevent mass extinction by using a mixture of science, militaristic powers, and diplomatic channels. There are a group of people across the world who are there to stop the world from ending. And they have the power of time travel. Is this where you keep the time machine? We don't really call it that. Why not? Because that's not what it is. We are a group of people who have the ability to, when necessary, change time, to alter time, particularly when there are huge world events going on. But the idea is there's a checkpoint day, and it's like if you are playing a video game and you pass a checkpoint and every time you die, you go back to that same place. So the checkpoint day is the 1st of July. Every time they go back, they always go back to the 1st of July. I suppose the big moral dilemma faced by George and the, and the members of the, the team is what happens if you're in a position where you can almost play God? If you can turn back time, um, you can undo all the bad things that have happened, but undo all the good things that have happened. Where, where does your responsibility lie? It makes us all ask uh, those, those moral questions. That we have to think about what would I do in that situation, and that's kind of where the drama comes from. I think we all enjoy watching time repeat itself and playing with that idea, and I, I think it goes very deep within us. We are always fascinated by what would happen if we could have that time again. So I think it taps into that deep-rooted feeling. But I think it's also a drama about people you come to genuinely care about, and I think that's because it's very, very well written.